How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. And well, what I'm gonna be discussing and talking about is a junk food arcade micro all button controller. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, so here we have the hitbox and the junk food arcade micro controller. Now, like I, I believe I said this in, in my other video discussing, you know, controllers to get for fighting games. This is the all button leverless arcade controller. And the hitbox is what started it all. It's super nice. You know, as you can tell, it's built nicely. And then you got that, the junk food arcade microcontroller. Now, just as a couple weeks ago, I decided to go out to my local scene to check it out, you know, to see, you know, to meet some people because I wanted to get myself out there and whatnot, and I'm just curious on like what it was like and stuff. And as I was walking around talking with people, I saw this thing, and I was like, "What the heck is this thing? It looks super cool. It's small. It's obviously as you can tell it's portable." And I'm like, "Okay, take my money. I want one. How do I get it?" And they said, "A bunch of guys were like, well, you got to." enter this website, go into this website called Junk Food Arcade, and then they have different versions. Obviously, this is the um, artwork style, and it's called, you know, like I said, Junk Food Arcade, and then it, and then this one here is the micro, and like I said, it's the, it's the uh, artwork style, so you can, you know, if you want some kind of spiffy, you know, artwork to put in this, you, you can do that. Like, this is the hitbox, right, you know, as you can tell already. Now, why would you want something like this over that? Now, for me personally, I would like to bring this over that because, you know, it, th this is much more nicer to carry around. This, that's a boombox. <laughs> okay, let's be honest here. That's a boombox. Now, for some of you who, who are really young and don't know what a boombox is, I know this guy. His name is Google. Check him out. Google will give you the answers to what a boombox is. Okay, I don't want to carry this thing around. I like it. It's built nice. But you know what? This, for me, is just to play at home, okay? Yeah, this is for my at-home setup. This here is to travel with, right? To go to my local event, to hang out. Because think about it. When you go to sit down to play a set or song, you're going to sit there for five or ten minutes. And, and that leads me to my next point. For it to sit on your lap, it's... Depending on like, I don't mean to get to this point, but depending on the size of your thighs, this may not work out for you. It may be too small. I don't know. You know, I don't cast any judgment, but you're going to have to make a call for yourself when you get something like this because it may not sit across your, your legs comfortably enough for you to play. It may feel very uncomfortable. And um, I'm going to showcase a good way for you to test that later on in the video. But yeah, overall, that's, you know, th you know, these are my thoughts on, on this thing so far, just by the aesthetics and look and, and the, what, and the wire that came with it, it's a very nice wire. It's, it's like a braided cord. Plus you, you get a, if I can, okay, there we go. You get a, what they call a right angle cord. And I believe you can plug it in no matter, you know, in either direction that you can, depending on where you're sitting and say like the console's over here or over here, you can kind of change that depending on what you got going on there. Plus the size of this thing, actually before I get to the size, ugh, as you can tell that by the size of it, I can actually like pretty much palm this whole thing. And if I turn around, it's got an anti-slip, which is nice, versus this hitbox from when it was made at the time. It's got little rubber stoppers on the bottom, but I got used to that as I've been using this for years. And then as we can do a, as you can do like a size by size comparison here, yeah, you can tell which one is the bigger dog here, because <laughs> this is monstrous, not 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 by length, but also by, but by, by the thickness of it, and the buttons. Let me give you some ASMR, but you're gonna get some more later, you know, for ASMR lovers out there. You know, it feels nice. Plus, you can do some with slides with it too. I know you can kind of do some slides with the sound ones, but yeah, I think you get it. But it's it's nice. It's a nice controller. It's nice to carry around. You know, and it's. it's you know, you know, you don't feel like you're carrying a boombox, you know, given comparison, you know, 
Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys some gameplay footage and whatnot. So yeah, so here we go with that. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is this controller plugged in, which is, it, I plugged this in into my PC and it didn't really have any issues. That's one of the biggest things that I absolutely loved about this controller. There, there's some other, uh, obviously budget, you know, uh, traveling, you know, stick, you know, leverless controllers that you can probably, you know, bring to your local scene, but apparently there's some kind of like catch or twist to it, or you gotta download some kind of software to make it work on your PC, or to work on the console that, that may be used at your local scene, but for this year, it's just a plug and play, and I think that's amazing. And I, you know, like I said, with the price you pay and everything, it's, you know, it's awesome. So, in, and also with it plugged in, you can see that there's lights around the buttons, which is pretty neat. And, uh, what else? There's also an app, which I'll, I'll showcase or talk about, near, you know, near the end of the video, plus some additional thoughts. And like I said before, this here, you can plug it any, this wire right here, you can plug this any way possible. So whatever, whatever direction that you're sitting at, at, at your local scene, whether console's over here or, or, you know, over here or over here, and you got to turn that wire to face it the, the appropriate way so you can plug it in and it's not going to bend or might, might just pull it out. That's what's great about this. You can kind of flip that around to make it go, to, you know, make the cord go to whatever direction it has to go. All right, so I'm gonna play a game, or, you know, a game with this, so you guys can kind of get an idea. Plus, this is like ultimate, uh, you know, like ASMR, you know, button sounds and stuff. So, all right, so there you go. Plus, also, um, I'm also gonna be holding on to this. I know this is not a desk. It's not gonna sit on my lap, but you guys can probably get a good idea what it looks like on a lap so if this ain't working for you and it's not gonna work for you but i'll get into that more later so let's just play this match real quick but yeah i'll, I'll be discussing lap ability ready for stuff, the next so. battle Okay, so you got, you guys obviously got like a gameplay aspect with the controller. So I'll give you guys a bit of a, an understanding of what these buttons do, because obviously I think that's a little important. So, all right, I'm gonna jump this into practice mode. Okay, so with this controller, you got these buttons up here, and I know they don't really tell you anything about what the control, you know what, you know what. You know what they do or what they say, but I kind of had to figure that out based on. There's a little bit there. Okay, still from here. The hair out of controller. Okay, so there's there's these buttons here. One, well, this one here does pause. This one here is like let's say we just you know get out of center of the map. That's like your other select your start and you know. That's it right there. So yeah, that's what those buttons do. These here, I have no clue. I think one of them for like the Xbox controller or something. I don't know, something, something strange. But yeah, that's the use of this controller. Obviously, I hope this little section is kind of nice. But uh, yeah. Okay, so one thing I want to discuss before you know I, I, I get to the end of this video or whatever is the lap ability for it to sit on your lap when you're playing. Now, like I said, this is great for when you want to go to your local scene. You don't want to carry something like the hitbox because it's, you know, it's big, it's bulky. You know, you don't want to, like I said, you don't want to feel like you're carrying around a boombox. So, this is the lap ability aspect of it. There's a way I figured out without having to purchase this. You may have to purchase this one very thing, but it's not going to, like, break your bank. So... So here it is. Let me just take the camera and just adjust it accordingly for you guys.
but for lapability, this is what it's like for it to sit on your lap. It's pretty, you know, pretty comfortable, you know, but I like it. It, it works, but like if you think that like a it's manageable you know to go to a scene with this then yeah it's cool you know you're not gonna be sitting at that one station for your at the, your set for long you know you know this is super easy to carry around with so yeah that's my overall thought plus don't forget the fancy light so that's a big plus so with this review of the junk junk food arcade microcontroller i don't know if this you know this video here actually kind of, you know, kind of sold you about getting one or something like that. But, but for all I know, maybe this might have just, you know, got got the gears in your head turning about a decision that you're going to make when it comes to buying this. But like I said, overall, it's great to travel with. Um, I would say if, like I said, if the, if the lapability, you know, for it to sit on your lap is not the best for you or if you don't even know like if it's even comfortable for you your best idea to figure out whether or not this is going to work for you and you're going to feel comfortable with it the best way for you to do that is first of all on their website when you go online their their website will if you look at the details of this thing this thing across is 10 inches now the way that you can figure out well, 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 sit on my lap. This is a good reference and not a, not a solid or like, oh, like, you know, this is a good reference. If I can, if I can get the pencil out of here, well, not, look, 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 it matters. Grab yourself one of these and look for the dimensions nine and three quarters. It's nine and three quarters this way and put it on your lap. Okay. That controller is 10 inches across. This is nine and three quarters. And don't mind the pencil but this is only a quarter inch off from that thing and set it across and if it's sitting okay across your legs and you feel comfortable with it then then that controller would work fine with you so th that's my overall thought now let me just clean up my little stinking mess here i made so and, and another thing when you get this this is uh, like I said, the lights that you guys saw, you guys can actually control the lights if you really wanted to, if you cared enough. There's an app that you can get, just type up junk food, arcade or something, and if you just see, if we can find the logo on here somewhere, if you just see that logo, the orange logo and stuff, you, you know, get it and you can, can, you know, adjust the lighting and stuff on this. But yeah, overall, I know it's pricey and I know it's for, for some of you that's probably a sensitive subject, but and what I've kind of thought and believed you're getting for what you paid for, which is, you know, something I kind of had to do. That's, I mean, something else. I want to say that I had to make a purchase of as of recently, but... Well, maybe I'll talk about it someday. More than likely not, but... For some of you that are probably watching, you probably know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, this is great. I know when I shake this, you're probably hearing a little... Well, like something's loose. It's, it's those buttons right there. But yeah, um, like I said, I hope this helped. I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed what you saw. Obviously, I think you guys, you know, if you guys like what you see, like, you know, like me, um, just hit, hit, hit the like and subscribe. I know you guys are hearing stuff up there. But um, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, hit the like and subscribe. And um, with that, I'm out of here. So see ya.